Hello there. Today's video is uh, not on Windows 10. It's actually on a Raspberry Pi. Let me start at my VNC viewer. You can see my IP address for my VNC viewer there. Let me put in a password and uh, connect to it. Boop. Move out of the way. Thank you very much. All right, so I'm going to hit Control Shift T as in Tom or terminal sorry it's control alt T there we go control alt T as in terminal and that will open up this uh, command prompt that's what terminal is it's basically the command prompt all of Linux which is this is a version of Linux based on Debian it will run uh, all Unix like operating systems are Debian so uh, here you can see uh, my name is Pi my Raspberry Pi's name is Technological, um, and that explains how uh, what's going on with the command prompt. All right, so um, we're going to start doing some commands here. sudo sudo super user do. I am logged in as myself, not as root, which root is the ultimate admin. Uh, some of these commands require admin to do them, so that's why I put uh, sudo super user do. apt is apt dash git. Uh, and install will install something and uh, the name of that program we're installing is Vim it's a text editor runs here in command line app-git is a uh, software install program available on Debian based operating systems so I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and this is going to take a minute uh, and it's going to ask me a question we're building a uh, lamp server today uh, so Oh, it did not ask me to confirm that. I think it's because uh, it, it will probably ask you. It's, I got two seconds into this video and realized that I'd made a mistake. Start over again. So to, the long version is a sudo apt-get install. Um, and we're going to install apache2-y for uh, yes, don't ask me any questions. sudo space apt-get space install space apache2 apache number two space dash y Boop. and that's going to install apache and at that point it would have asked me a question but i put the dash y on there uh, so we're building a lamp server let's open up notepad on my uh so that you can see what that is oh next command is ready so uh, cd dash var. Uh, you won't have a, uh, a C drive on a Linux machine. It will be uh, just slash. That's the very bottom of the hard drive. Uh, var is a directory or a folder. Uh, www slash html. And if I do an ls, that will list all the files in that directory, which you can see there's index.html. Let's open up Chromium. And in Chromium, you should see uh, localhost, or if you're doing this remotely uh, through like SSH or something, you can put in your machine's IP address. Boop, localhost shows that there is a default web page there. All right, so I'm going to do a move uh, index to uh, index two dot HTML. And then I get denied because I don't actually have permission to do that. ls al, uh, which will be uh, all files in the long format uh, with a space in between ls space dash al. Uh, you can see that it is owned by a user named root. That's the ultimate admin. Uh, root is a member of a group called root. And um, I don't have any permissions. Root has a read and write. Root the group has read, and this is the world, this is everybody else. They only have read permissions. So uh, what I need to do is sudo mv index.html. You can just type in the first few letters and hit tab to uh, index 2.index.html. Enter. Now when I go back to the web page and refresh, you can see that there's a file there called index.html. This is a thing I didn't know for a long time when I first started building web pages back in the 1990s. 
um, that by default a web server is going to look for a file called index or default and uh, if you don't make it one of those two then um, it's not going to know what to do. Sometimes you can make it do whatever page you want it to look for. I've done that in IIS but it really needs to be like index dot something or default dot something uh, and that's why whenever you see web pages it just has the dot com slash name of the folder and then slash um, it doesn't say index dot html when you make a hyperlink you can just put the slash and then it'll just automatically look for anything called index or default uh, but that folder doesn't exist, that directory doesn't exist yet. Um, so localhost or the IP address of your uh, of your computer that you're uh, doing this on. If you're doing it through like SSH or something like that. Anyway, uh, I'm just stick to localhost because that makes it easier. Okay, next command. Um, sudo apt dash git install PHP. PHP is a programming language used to create web pages. Uh, dash y on the end of that because I don't want to get any questions asked of me. And that's going to take a minute. Uh, where did that? Oop. We're building a uh, L A M P server. That stands for Linux. That's the operating system. Uh, Apache. That's the web server. My SQL, although in this case it's actually MariaDB, which is a fork off of MySQL. That's a, a database program and PHP. That's the program language we're installing right now. Um, so basically, this is a web server made to host web pages. And to go over the uh, permissions, they were uh, rx dash r dash dash r dash dash with a uh, root as the user root as the group oh we're done let's go back here next command uh, so we're gonna sudo make dir uh, php and uh, if I do an ls dash al you should be able to see a folder called php here there's a directory right there Uh, and that directory is called PHP. Let's go ahead and look at the web page. Um, F5. There's a PHP, but there's nothing in there. So let's go back and make something in there. Uh, CD touch. Um, CD PHP. Enter. Let's do uh, uh, sudo touch index.php uh, and if I look at it now there's a file there but there's nothing in it so let's go ahead and edit that that's when we're going to use the editor called uh, vim so sudo vim index.php and in there we're going to hit the uh, insert key on our keyboard and we're going to put in there less than question mark php uh, mistype that php php info uh, parentheses open close semicolon uh, question mark close or greater than sign then on our keyboard you see here where it says insert that's when I push the insert key so I can edit in this text file I'm going to hit escape and then the cert goes away. Then I'm going to hit colon W Q. Uh, exit. And now it should show all my PHP info. Yeah, yeah. So you can see all the information about the web server. Uh, all right. Now let's go ahead and go ahead and. Uh, Go there. Uh, I need to set up some other stuff here. sudo apt install maria dash uh, maria db dash server and then uh, space php dash mysql 
dash y sudo apt install mariadb dash server php dash mysql dash y uh, mariadb is going to be the database program php mysql is going to be the uh, the program that links them together basically it makes them work makes them play together well um, and then we'll have a mysql installed and next up will be uh, we'll stop this video for a second and then uh, pick it back up because you don't need to watch progress bar